Yo, what is up dudes? It's your boy Tong. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install a ROM hack called the Ultimate Trial. This will work for most ROM hacks, um, but sometimes you need different versions of Ocarina of Time to get them running properly uh, because you have to patch them with a BPS file. Uh, the BPS file is the ROM hack file. You have to patch it onto the original Ocarina of Time uh, ROM, which you should obtain legally. Whatever you want to do, I'm not your uh, I'm not your parents. Anyways, you're gonna start by coming to this link right here, which will be down in the description, highlyandmodding.com, uh, and then the ultimate trials right here at the top, uh, as of right now. Uh, but you're gonna click download, and then this will be like the top will be the latest version, and you're gonna to want to download the ultimate trial right here in 64.bps. Um, get downloading and then you're going to want to come to project 64 which i also have linked down below uh, you're going to go to downloads public releases and then 3.0 3.0.1 you're going to want to download this um, that will start save that advertisement out of here we don't need it um so you're um so with the whole getting your own ROM, you're going to have to look up a tutorial on how to rip that file from your ROM, ROM cartridge or however you decide to source it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not your parents. Um, I'm not Nintendo police, but we're going to go to see where I have. All right, so this first box says ROM. So you're going to choose your ROM file, which is the Ocarina of Time original file. You're going to go to documents. To go to um, in 60, yeah. Well, I have it in my N64 folder, so it's this one right here. Which for this, for this, you need the Ocarina of Time version 1.0. There's version 1.0, 1.1, and 1.2. They made three different versions of the of the uh, of Ocarina of Time. Depends on what game cartridge you have, but you do need 1.0 for this. I'm gonna go ahead and click open, uh, patch. We're gonna go to downloads. I got the ultimate trial. I downloaded a few times just for getting ready for the you know tutorial. I don't know what skip checksums is, but you save as. It'll pop up with a an already made name, patch, and then it downloads. So now this file is gonna be in your downloads folder. You can go to your downloads, and you can put this wherever you want to. It's right here. It's the Z64. See, these ones are BPS file. This one, the Z64 file. You're gonna cut it and put it wherever you want to. I put mine in documents and in 64 ROM hacks right here. Um, I actually have not the latest version. I have 1.0.1, .1, but that's not important. But I do recommend getting the newest one because it's got a lot of fixes that would have made the entire trial a lot easier for me. Um, but next, you're gonna to wanna to install Project 64. Go back to downloads, run that. And next, you can install it wherever you want to. Next, and then click, you know, create a desktop icon. I, I highly recommend that. And then click next, and it will install. But I'm not gonna install it because I already have it. So now we're gonna go ahead and open Project 64. All right, so Project 64 has this thing that pops up, makes you wait 30 seconds. So once it's over, hit continue. Go to um, Options, Configuration. Okay, this is very important for whenever you get to the cert, like the first main room. It's called the Sanctuary in this. It'll crash if you don't have this um, setting. So you go to Under General Settings, you go to Advanced. And you do always use interpreter core. Make sure that's checked on. Click OK. And now for this, you're going to open ROM and you're going to navigate to where you save the ROM. And mine is in N64 ROM hacks and I have Ultimate Trial right here. You're going to open that and you should be good to go. Now, guys, um, if you have any questions at all, drop them down in the comments below. I got you. If you want to see any other specific um, ROM hacks and how to install them, 
but just so you know a lot of them are going to be similar to this the only main um, difference might be that you might need a different version of Ocarina of Time rather than 1.0 um, but yeah that's pretty much it I uh, look look at all the links down below I do stream these uh, ROM hacks to Twitch as well so if you guys are interested in taking a look at these in action uh, come by there but anyways thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one